to our Sunday video. Erin, as you guys know, just had surgery, so... I am doing great. Talking is a little hard, so we're gonna get through this. We okay. asked you guys some low energy things that you would want to see and a lot of people were requesting a mukbang but I'm not really eating much food so. so we're gonna do something that you guys like anyways which is vlog squad gossip we haven't done that since Jeff it's really the only thing I can do yeah so <laughs> I don't know what I've missed since I've been under so and I'm on really, Percocet yeah if there's a Drake and Josh reboot do you think David is going to sneak his way in I feel like if Drake and Josh came back like, there's no way David wouldn't be a part of it somehow. Like, I feel like he would beg Josh to be in an episode. Oh, 100%. David, we were, what were we doing the other day? I think it was when Jason had his spa day, and David was like, oh, this reminds me of that episode of Drake and Josh when this happened and this happened and this happened. And oh, yeah. Josh was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. David was like, I know it better than you do. Like, yeah, you probably do. <laughs> the celery post made me think Carly's Insta story was some shade or not at all. Unintentional shade. That's so funny. Guys, I, I had it's a shamrock like shade. Fat. Yeah, it's like it's a- the it, fad. It's, Everyone is talking about celery juice. It's obviously just a joke. It's not shade. Yeah, I feel like people take stuff so out of context. But also at the same time, if you don't live in LA, I feel like you don't really like- Or somewhere like hip and yeah, cool. Oh yeah. I feel like other cities aren't as crazy as LA is with like health and trends and stuff like that. And so many people are obsessed with this like celery juice thing. Like people are buying juicers to yeah. juice their own celery juice, which is absolutely disgusting. Because we all know where I stand with celery juice. <laughs> it's too spicy. Who would want to drink straight spice in the morning? Spice? We don't want a spicy breakfast. Oh, it hurts don't so laugh. Bad. Don't laugh. Why does every podcast cause I need to start listening to the podcast. Because David and Jason are dumb. I listen to some of them. I don't really ever catch anything, but I'm also just like doing my makeup and not really fully paying attention. True. So. Wait, Drake what? and Josh reboot confirmed? Can Is you this this? real? Oh my Drake Bell teases about a Drake and Josh. Reboot, we're working on something. But that's like a YouTuber being like, big things coming. Yeah. Like, uh, that's so weird. Should we text Josh? Yeah. <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> Is it weird to want to go to the Grove just to see if I run into a YouTuber? Honestly, that's probably the place to go. The Grove doesn't even have good stores. In my opinion, good stores, except they have Topshop, but that's like the only place. Yeah, but they also have that at the Americana, which has way better stores. Yeah. If you go, if you come to LA and you want to go to the Grove, don't go to the Grove, go to the Americana. It's the it's same thing. The same people own it, I think, but, but it's bigger and there's way more stores and there's like across the street, you literally walk at a crosswalk and there's a huge mall yeah. too. Wow, the tea. <laughs> Is this true? Seeky commented, so David did a brand deal for Honey. Seeky commented, wait, who's Honey on David's video? That is <laughs> So funny. Did they really? Go and look. Oh, they did. They did comment it. That's hilarious. They're like, wait a second. Why did I see a picture of David buying cigarettes on Instagram? What? Maybe he was getting like Heath a present or something. <laughs> he doesn't even smoke cigarettes anymore. I know. It literally must be for a bit. A hundred percent. I love how angry people are that Dom posted a pic with Natalie. Like people know that they, why are people mad? What? I don't even understand what there is to be mad about. Because they probably think David and Natalie are dating. <laughs> And then they're like, how oh. dare Dom? That's probably what it is. How dare Dom take Natalie away from David? <laughs> David's lack of motivation and drive lately compared to how it used to be is really hitting my heart where it hurts. Miss the good old days. Literally, it could be my perk set wearing off and talking, but literally shut up. David is truly the most motivated person I've ever met in my entire life. Like it drains me thinking about how motivated David is. No, for real. If you would post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do you, that would be like if you had a project due on Monday, you just got done, you will, you stayed up all night, it's now Tuesday morning, and the teacher's like, okay, another project Wednesday, and you're like, hold on, I gotta like regroup and figure, that's like yeah. literally what it was. It's obviously like this is his job, but he's been doing it for over, what, 500 videos now? Yeah. Like, it, it takes a lot to think of things now. I don't think that people really take that into consideration either. Yeah. Like, obviously, like, he does have all this time, but he's doing so many things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about, that you don't see, like, that Vanity Fair thing. So this is not, it's, like, really good for him. He's not any less motivated than he was before. If I were him, I would 100% have stopped posting on Wednesday, like, a year or two ago. Oh, probably. yeah. Like, we post three days a week, but ours is obviously way more chill, and, like, it's mo mo more of just, like, our lives. If we had to post, like, that, I would lose my mind. Yeah. Like, absolutely lose my mind. 100%. This is just, like, a clearing David's name. It's just, like, so annoying. I know, I know. It's, it drives me insane when people say that. But it also drives me insane when people say, 
we're lazy or like any of our friend group is lazy because I mean at the end of the day we're constantly trying to like think of things and constantly yeah. trying to like it doesn't ever end which is good like I like that and it's like we chose to do this but it's also like don't say we're lazy because a couple videos we're not going above and beyond you know what I mean Erin looks so good on your to pick do you think it was her who left the gum and lashes next to David's fireplace it wasn't me it was Zane you can watch that in our walk from Friday David is doing the BuzzFeed puppy interview what's that <gasps> we're going what's that it's where it's where they have celebrities like play with puppies and answer questions why can't we do that David doesn't Why even like dogs. That. He said he wanted to wear Carl as a purse. <laughs> we'll tell that to Drag him. Busted if you're watching. What was our <laughs> surgery for? I had a dermoid cyst on my ovary and I got it removed. So people were asking her to like, Talk like us to make it. a video of her talking about it because a lot of people have it. I feel like the gist of it is she just had, you just had a lot of pain, right? Like in your stomach. Yeah, I was having a lot of stomach pain and I didn't know why. And then I wound up going to like my primary care physician and she was just like I think it's anxiety and then I went to a GI she was like but we'll send you to a specialist so I went to a GI and he was like you're fine go to your OBGYN so I went to my OBGYN they did an ultrasound she was like this is why you have this cyst sorry it's like really hard for me to talk <laughs> it's pretty much just like a cyst that I think kind of like grows with you from when you are like born cute and it grows up with you yeah and they're cysts that can have like hair and teeth and like skin cells and just stuff like that in them and then they have to remove them because it can get like wrapped around your ovary and like then your ovary can die but God. once they get big enough they definitely want to remove them from you and mine was 10 centimeters which is four inches so she was real big i think the good thing is like or the good thing to do is if you have pain like that just like don't not ask questions or you know you could have just been like oh yeah it's anxiety and then like blew it yeah. off and you could lose like lose an ovary yeah i whatever. mean i think it's so important like i'm really good about going to like my gynecologist every year to get my annual pap and all of that stuff because obviously like that's so scary and you want to make sure that like all of your reproductive Things. organs and like i mean i don't know like if you're sexually active but like it's always good to just like go and get that stuff checked out no no matter what better to be safe than sorry you know yeah if you ever think something is wrong and you're not satisfied with what the doctor says go to another doctor yeah. or like go to a specialist i know that a lot of women may have similar or worse pain um with like endometriosis a lot of women have a hard time getting that diagnosed because a lot of doctors just kind of like overlook it so definitely like fight for your health if that's something that like you know if you're like this no like even though you're telling me nothing's wrong and it feels wrong like definitely fight for your health and like see somebody else if like you don't think you're getting the right answers i wish carly and Aaron could get to one million this year me too when you wish upon a star everyone say your prayers before bed and make sure that you say dear Whoever you believe in, I hope that Carly and Aaron hit a million subscribers this year. I say that every night. Natalie is so fucking pretty. I was with her when she posted that picture and I was like, Natalie, holy fuck, you are so pretty. Like that she, picture is incredible. That's like her. I know, that's what she looks like in person. She kind of reminds me of Kendall Jenner. Like I feel like she has the same face. Oh yeah, like very natural beauty. Yeah. Fuck David and fuck him for the lack of Aaron appreciation via the lie detector. Absolutely fucking offended. Aaron is superior. The dub should be scared. <laughs> All he said was that like we're not as like we're not the closest, right? I'm just T. sticking up for David. In it. <laughs> the Literally whole video David. is me God sucking David. David's dick. Carly and Aaron had great chemistry with James. Also, the James friend that was off camera. It seemed so natural. I enjoyed. I wish Carly and Aaron. I wish Carly could have gotten her makeup done too. Me too. We'll save that for another video. Yeah. But honestly, James's friend was so sweet. And James was so sweet as always. And it was just like so chill and relaxing. Yeah. And like even after he was so nice, he like bought us lunch and yeah. we just like hung out for a bit after. And yeah. yeah, he's so nice and very business oriented. Like he's very work, 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 work. Cause like even yeah. right after we were like ordering food and he was like reviewing his new video was about to go out and his, he was talking with his manager about like brand deals and stuff. And yeah. I, like, oh my I God. love that for him. He's yeah. so successful and he deserves it. He works really hard. Yeah. I feel like Zane used to have a crush on her. 
Wait, he doesn't anymore. I feel like everyone so thinks like I like Zayn or Zayn likes Aaron or Aaron likes yeah. it. Like it's a whole, it's because he's like our best friend. Yeah. What do you think Aaron more fiend up brain will say after surgery? Apparently she got out of surgery and it was the day we posted our James Charles video. And the first thing she said was, did Carly post our James Charles video? That was like one of the second things. <laughs> oh, it was the second because thing. Because the first thing, I don't remember this at all, but at the hospital they gave me like, I keep explaining it like this, but you know when you go to a doctor's office and they give you those robe things to put on and they're just like paper? It was like that, but inside of the one they gave me, it attaches to like a heating vent. So it's a heated one. And I guess when I got out of surgery, I had it on and I like came to and I was just like, I don't remember. You're like, hell yeah, beach. Like, yeah, I so like said something like this or like, this is fucking awesome. Like something like that. The nurse was telling me like after I was like more aware, but then like <laughs> I was just like, saying to TJ, I was like, did Carly post our video yet? <laughs> Matt needs to make story time videos. That would be so funny. I'd love to see Matt do over dramatic ones. You guys, I was on a flight to South by Southwest. Why was Matt exiled from the vlog squad? Oh, well. I wish we could tell you guys. Who said Matt was exiled? What does that even mean? Okay, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sticking around. We had to do a very chill video today, as I'm sure you could understand. Um, this wasn't like understanding. This wasn't filled with a lot of tea, so I'm really sorry about it. But we tried our best. We haven't done one of these in a while, and we'll probably do it again, like with somebody else. I like kind of want to do the Jeff thing where we like search the name of the person. Yep. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for sticking with me and understanding that we can't deliver the most crazy content this week. I really truly appreciate it. Erin should be on bed rest right and now. I know so. I sound a little sarcastic, but it's honestly just the pain meds talking. <laughs> Thank you guys. Make sure Did I say that already? I think. It hurts to yawn, but I have to. <laughs> I hold your chin in. Well, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.